please welcome Heather Snow. slutty and having long blonde hair <laughs> so so if you could just imagine like, this will go a lot better this might go a lot better so I've got like one of those looks about me <laughs> if I'm like running at a police officer with a gun he's like what's wrong it's just not gonna work anymore. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Shit. So I have leukemia. Mm. Mm. It's okay. I'm gonna be okay, you guys. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay. Um, I I wish I was one of those like wig people, but. That's just gonna make you guys feel better, and I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> well, I'm itching the fuck out of my scalp. Plus, now my boyfriend and I have the same haircut, so it's it's adorable. It's it's the next thing. It's better than wearing like the same T-shirt, you know. <laughs> So um, I found out I had leukemia when I, I bit my tongue and then um, it swelled up to the point where I, I couldn't, couldn't talk very well and I, I drove myself to the emergency room and I said, <laughs> <laughs> and then they intubated me and I was unconscious for two days while my boyfriend and my best friend tried to figure out what the fuck was happening. And one of the first things my doctor did was ask my boyfriends like what symptoms what symptoms he was experiencing and and he's like well why do you want to know what my symptoms are and she's like well she's exhibiting signs of hiv <laughs> which was the coolest joke i played on him today <laughs> Uh, AIDS jokes. Out of bounds, leukemia girl. <laughs> it is so awesome having leukemia, you guys. I was like, this, this bitch wouldn't let me in. <laughs> like when I was driving the other day. And I just look at her and I go, fuck you, I have cancer. <laughs> and then she let me in. <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, you know, something really great happened to, um, these are my skinny jeans. <laughs> and I don't feel like I'm gonna pass out. So, that's a first. Weight loss for dummies. Get, get cancer and a tongue sore that doesn't heal because you don't have any white blood cells and you can't eat for three weeks and voila, go wait. <laughs> you hit your go wait. It's fucked up. <laughs> really glad I locked in my boyfriend <laughs> before the <laughs> leukemia thing. <laughs> I tried to give him an out. I was like, you know, we met on Tinder. It's, oh, it's, this, is a, this is heavy shit. You get, he's like, no, I love you, damn it. It's like, um, my, my brother's my match. So he's a, he's a big guy, <laughs> which means he's got a lot of stem cells. He's gonna hook me up. <laughs> Which means I gotta forgive him for being such a dick my whole life, you know? <laughs> what an asshole. I'm really hoping that I don't get his personality, that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think um, they, like there's so many disadvantages to being tall that like I don't fit in the hospital beds. I thought it was just bathtubs. I thought I was fucked with bathtubs. <laughs> I can't take baths, you know, because I freeze my tits off or my like I'm drowning with my legs on the ceiling. That's it. No, they don't make hospital beds for me either. It's bullshit. So they're giving me a bariatric bed, which is made for like heavier patients that are getting lap band surgeries and whatnot. And um, I, my leukemia doctor, my oncologist was like, was like, oh, I never even have heard of the bariatric bed. And I was like, are you telling me that we just found the cure for leukemia? <laughs> like, I just have to eat? Like, I just, obesity, people, is the cure for leukemia. We found it, doc. We did it. <laughs> it's official. All right, I gotta get out of here because I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done yet. I just want to let you know if I die from using this microphone from all those dirty fucking beards. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. <laughs> all right, bye.